A semi-infinite potential well. Consider a potential well defined as u of x is equal to infinite for x less than 0. Um, UX, u of x is equal to 0 for x between 0 and l and u of x is equal to u0 positive value for x greater than capital L. Consider a particle with mass m and kinetic energy E, capital E, less than u0 that is trapped in the well. Part A, the boundary condition at the infinite wall x equals to 0 is psi at 0 is 0. What must the form of the function psi of x for x between 0 and capital L be in order to satisfy both the Schrodinger equation and this boundary condition? So if we write Schrodinger's equation for the range of x values between 0 and capital L, this is minus h bar squared over 2m second derivative of the wave function d squared psi dx squared because the potential is equal to 0, there is no potential term. This is equal to energy times psi, uh, which can be written as d squared psi dx squared plus 2m capital E over h bar squared multiplied by psi is equal to zero. So this has a characteristic equation Um, characteristic equation for this differential equation is n square plus 2m capital E divided by h bar square is equal to 0 which can be written as n square plus k square is equal to 0, where n is equal to plus or minus i k. So uh, these are solutions of this form. Psi of x is equal to a prime e to the i k x plus b prime e to the minus ikx and the wave function uh, these are particle in a box solutions particle in a box solutions uh, the wave function has to satisfy the boundary condition it has to vanish at the boundary so a plus a prime plus b prime has to be zero so we find that b prime has to be equal to minus a prime so if we substitute that here the wave function psi of x is equal to a prime parenthesis e to the i k x minus e to the minus i k x which is a prime times Cos using Euler's formula, cosine kx plus i sine kx minus cosine kx plus i sine kx. That's equal to 2a prime i sine kx. Or we can write it simply. Uh, psi of x is a sine function. It's uh, it has a normalization factor a times sine kx, and psi of zero is equal to zero. So these sine functions uh, satisfy this solution. And the k that is in this solution is square root two m e 
to M capital E over H bar. All right. So if we move on to uh, part B, the wave function must remain finite as x goes to infinity. Uh, what must the form of the function psi of x for x greater than capital L be in order to satisfy both the Schrodinger equation and this boundary condition at infinity? Now I'm writing Schrodinger's equation for x values greater than capital L. So this is minus h bar squared over 2m d square psi dx square plus the potential energy which is u0 in this range of x values u0 times phi is equal to energy times phi which can be written as second derivative of the wave function with respect to x d square psi dx square minus 2m u0 over h bar squared times psi is equal to minus 2me over h bar squared times psi. Now you can see here I multiplied both sides with a minus sign and then multiplied the uh, equation by 2m over h bar squared to get this form. Now this can, uh, this here we can recognize uh, 2m over h bar squared uh, e minus u0 times psi if we combine these terms. So we can write the characteristic equation, uh, characteristic equation can be written this way, n squared minus 2m u0 minus capital E over h bar squared is equal to 0. Now we can define kappa squared to be 2m u0 minus capital E over h bar squared. And with that, we obtain n is equal to plus or minus kappa. So what will be the form of the solutions? The form of the solutions are psi of x is equal to c prime e to the kappa x plus d prime e to the minus kappa x and then we have the boundary condition the wave function as x goes to infinity must be equal to zero so this term already dies off at infinity so this tells us that uh, c prime must be equal to zero because this is going to uh, blow up this term is going to blow up. Okay, so we form, we find the form of the solution for psi x greater than capital L. We have d prime e to the minus kappa x, where kappa is equal to a 2m u0 minus e divided by h bar squared uh, divided by h bar let's take the top one inside the square root and that's our form of the solution in this region let's move on to part c impose the boundary conditions that the wave function and its derivative are continuous at x equals capital l show that the energies of the allowed levels are obtained from solutions of the equation k cotangent kl is equal to minus kappa where k is square root 2m e over h bar and kappa is square root 2m parenthesis u0 minus e uh, divided by h bar so this is divided by h bar okay so 
I look at the solutions and their continuity at x equals L, Psi at x equals capital L is d prime e to the minus kappa L from the solution in part B, and it is A times sine KL from the solution in part A. The derivative Psi prime at x equals to capital L if you take the derivative of a d prime e to the minus kappa x, we will obtain minus kappa d prime minus kappa d prime. And at x equals l, this is e to the minus kappa l. And derivative of sine is cosine. Kl gives us an l. Uh, um, k, um, kx gives us a k. So we will have a k cosine k capital L. So if I divide these two, uh, psi prime at x equals capital L divided by psi at x equals capital L is equal to, uh, you can see that d prime e to the minus kappa L's will cancel out. We will obtain minus kappa. So minus kappa is equal to a k cosine k l divided by a sine k l, which is k cotangent k l. So that's what we obtain. And this tells us that uh, the energy can be calculated, energy values can be calculated from this equation, where k is square root 2 m e square root 2 m e divided by h bar and kappa is square root of 2 m u 0 minus e divided by h bar. That's from our definition of k and kappa. Okay, so in this problem, we have solved the semi-infinite potential well. Uh, first, we looked for solutions in the region between 0 and L. That's part a free particle because uh, there is no potential here. It's 0. The free particle in a box solutions are of the form A sine kx. And if we write Schrodinger's equation and recognize the characteristic equation, we obtain n plus or minus n is equal to plus or minus ik. And we find that uh, a sine kx is the form of the solution, which satisfies the boundary condition. The wave function must vanish here because it encounters an infinite potential. For x greater than L, Schrodinger's equation now also includes a potential energy term, u0. And for energies less than uh, u0, remember, we were told that the energy is less than u0. Uh, this is going to give us kappa square equals 2mu0 minus e over h bar square. And we, we have this form of the solution, an exponential decay, because it has to satisfy um, x as x goes to infinity wave function decreases to zero uh, boundary condition uh, for our solution. And if we Evaluate these two solutions, a sine kx and d prime e to the minus kappa x at x equals l, and their first derivatives at x equals l, and take the ratio, we obtain minus kappa is equal to k cosine kl, cosine divided by sine.